All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. The first story that I have for you guys, Akeem Williams, nine days out from the Puerto Rico Pro. So I actually didn't know for sure that Akeem was jumping in that show. I had heard he might, but it looks like, according to Sulios on Instagram, these updates are nine days out. So this kind of throws a wrench into a lot of things. I'm assuming he's still doing Chicago even if he wins the Puerto Rico show. But it makes a lot more sense to me now why he was looking to be in such good shape at what appeared to be so far out from Chicago. I mean, over the past couple of months, he's posted a lot of physique updates where he looked, I guess you could say, ahead of schedule. But it looks like, according to Sulios on Instagram, it is confirmed that he is doing the Puerto Rico Pro in just nine days. So... I find this to be very interesting. Hopefully, um, he looks good at this show. I think at this point, um, he looks like he would be prepping still for Chicago. I mean, does he look like a week out to me in this update? No. Does he look good in this update? Yes. Does he look good if he's prepping for Chicago? Yes. Um, do I think he's still one of the favorites if he does Chicago? Yes. But I guess the question remains... Is he in or is he out of Chicago? To me, based on these updates, it looks like he would still be doing Chicago. It looks to me like he would be peaking in Chicago based on how he's looking here. I would expect we'll probably see a decent version of Akeem in Puerto Rico and then the best or a really good version of Akeem if he does Chicago. Based on this update, if this is a week out, I don't think we're going to see the craziest version of Akeem we've ever seen. I don't think we're going to see the Olympia version of Akeem. Um, but again, he's still multiple weeks out from Chicago, so there's still a good possibility for that. I think about six weeks out right now from Chicago. Now, as it comes to the Puerto Rico Pro, there's only a few names that I know are doing it for sure. I believe uh, you've got Guy Cisternino doing the 212 there. I believe Wesley is doing classic in Puerto Rico. And another guy that's doing the men's open bodybuilding portion of the show with Akeem is a.k.a. the giant, Jamie Jahal, who I was actually just speaking to on Instagram right before I made this video. Um, so it was kind of convenient timing on that. So he sent me some recent physique updates before the Puerto Rico Pro. Um, he says these were taken today. I believe they were taken today. He says, before I, hey, bro, before I fly to Puerto Rico tomorrow, shaping up to be a good showman, wasn't sure if you needed any content for your show. I can't, I can't wait until they release the official lineup. So I guess that might explain why nobody really knows who is for sure doing this show because we haven't seen any type of, of official lineup yet for this show. I can just give you guys the guys that I know have talked about competing. But again, this guy, uh, a.k.a. the Giant, he's called that because he's six foot five, and generally being a uh, taller bodybuilder is a disadvantage. But he actually looks like he's done a really good job of filling out his frame. Um, and what an interesting battle it would be if he gives Akeem a hard time at this show. Now, he's had some pretty good placings at different points in his career, but nothing crazy, nothing super noteworthy, no crazy wins. Um, but Akeem, who he's going to be going head-to-head -head with here, Akeem, as you guys know, was first call out at the Olympia, top six Olympia placer. It would be very interesting here, which Jamie, in my opinion, really does look good. If there's no other super big names in this lineup, and maybe Akeem is thinking he's going to show up for an easy win, for an easy qualification, um, it would be very interesting if Jamie gives him a hard time here. Or imagine that Akeem is so off here and Jamie is so on as it pertains to conditioning. Imagine Jamie beats him. I'm not saying that's probable, but just imagine. Now, next up in the news, let's pivot a little bit here. So Larry put up a post on Instagram that a lot of people are talking about right now um, addressing Greg Doucette and fake weights when it comes to his recent video pressing a barbell, not a dumbbell, a barbell in each hand, which Larry says each barbell weighed 185 pounds. Checked out the comment section of my lady shoulder press 51 pressing a barbell in each hand. It is 185 pounds in each hand. There is a 20 kg iron plate and a 25 pound rubber bumper plate. If you want to verify this, go on YouTube, search craziest shoulder press you've ever seen. In that video, I show all my warm ups. It's a lengthy video where you can see me using all the plates for that particular lift. So it's again, 185 pounds in each hand. I've never used fake weights and never will. So Greg basically did a video implying that Larry was using fake weights. So Larry's response is short and simple. He says, look, 
The plates are real. One's rubber. One's iron. They weigh a total of 185 pounds per barbell. And, hey, I did this. Look, Larry is different than a lot of guys that get accused of using fake weights. There's a lot of guys that they just do it for show. They have no actual competition experience. They don't have any real reputation on the line as far as being an actual lifter. Larry does. Larry has actual numbers. Larry has actual records. Larry actually competes. So if Larry wasn't joking around with that video and he was using fake weights, I do not think that Larry would defend it like he just did. And you guys have seen all the real stuff that Larry has done. So let's be honest on this one. If anybody could pull something like that off, a weird, unconventional lift, like a barbell in each hand weighing 185 pounds, wouldn't you think that Larry would be one of those people that would be able to actually pull that off? I got to say, I've made a lot of videos about fake weights over the years on my channel. But I got to say, I believe Larry on this one. I, I just do. Larry doesn't strike me as the kind of guy that would defend something like this and lie about it. And he also strikes me as the type of guy that would have the, the strength to be able to press 185 pounds in each arm, even if it's awkward, even if it's unconventional. It's Larry Wheels and 185 pounds in each arm and a shoulder press. Isn't that crazy? It's the awkwardness of the bar that makes it crazy, but maybe the spotter's got it in the perfect, you know, the perfect groove of uh, helping him move that right before he pressed it. I don't know, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think on this one in the comment section down below. Do you think Larry faked it or do you think he didn't? Do you think he's telling the truth? Um, a lot of people have been talking about this, so this is just one I just wanted to weigh in on really quickly. Personally, I actually, I believe Larry on this one. I got to be honest with you. Again, he just doesn't strike me as the kind of guy that would defend something like this if it was just meant to be taken as a joke or a funny video. All right, now next up in the news, guys, let's pivot back to bodybuilding briefly here. So Hassan Mustafa, who is also preparing for this Puerto Rico pro that we talked about earlier in the video. Um, we talked about AKA the giant, Jamie. We talked about Akeem Williams, who is apparently jumping in this lineup. And Hassan just posted a posing video, which I'm assuming is recent um, based on all the updates that he's posted prior to that. They've all been recent leading up to the Puerto Rico show. And look, Hassan has a great physique. I thought going into these shows like New York, I thought if he was in shape and he nailed his conditioning, I thought he could win those shows. But it turned out he didn't really nail that conditioning at any of the shows that he's done so far. And the question will be, is he going to nail in Puerto Rico or Tampa or maybe he'll do Chicago? Now, to be honest with you guys, if this update is recent, this posing video, if this is nine days out or whatever from Puerto Rico, I don't think he's going to nail it again. There's just a certain level of cloudiness to his midsection, even to his legs. I mean, he's got this crazy vascularity, and you can see cross striations in his quads, but there's still just a level of detail that's missing. His delts look insane, his arms look crazy, but his midsection, his chest, and in certain poses, his legs, it's just some detail is just lacking, and I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't look like he's going to be on for Puerto Rico either. All right, now next up in the news, something that we haven't seen in a while is a physique update from Good Vito, Vitaly Ugonikov, the mass monster Russian bodybuilder that some say could be the next Mr. Olympia if he ever is able to get to the IFBB Pro League. As young as he is, as big as he is, as much potential as he has, and the good shape that he's got, the V-taper and everything, um, he could have a lot of potential in the IFBB. This is the most recent physique update he's posted. He says current form, and he has a month and a half left of bulking and putting on size um, before he attempts to prep again for a show. And of course, a ton of people are sending me this update because Vitaly, he looks absolutely massive in this update. There's no denying that this kid, is he's a monster. And I can't wait to see what he's able to do. Hopefully, he can start competing as a pro in the IFBB Pro League. Um, I think it would be amazing to see because he just looks so different to a lot of guys in the IFBB. But I really think that he has the size to match a lot of guys in the IFBB. Now, the final story that I have for you guys today, another recent training video of Phil the Gift Heath, this time training with Mike O'Hearn, everybody's favorite natural bodybuilder. So Phil, again, looking really good in this training video, good from the standpoint of conditioning. He looks really lean. He looks like he's in really good shape. He almost looks like he's prepping for a show, but again, still does look downsized compared to the usual Phil Heath that we're used to seeing. Now, 
In this video with Mike O'Hearn, Mike is an actor of sorts, um, Phil discusses acting to quite an extent, and it led to a lot of speculation. Some of the people sending me this clip were saying, maybe that tweet that Phil put out, where he put, ash, where he put hashtag eight weeks out, maybe he was referring to a movie or an acting gig. And I think that is also entirely possible. There was a bunch of speculation about that eight weeks out tweet. One guy, he said he thought maybe Phil forgot to put the one before the eight, and he meant 18 weeks out, which would, would have been exactly 18 weeks out from the Olympia, which is also an interesting speculative theory. But the bottom line is, I can't deny it. You guys can't deny it. Phil is looking lean. He's looking good. He's looking like he's in really good shape for a bodybuilder that technically should be in his offseason right now. So the question is why? What is he getting ready for? Would you like to see Phil do the Olympia again? Take another run at it. Would you like to see him do the Arnold Classic Ohio 2021 coming up in September? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. I hope you did, in fact, enjoy it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet already. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Let's try to get to 10,000 likes on this video. Nick Strength and Power signing out.